Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about nested if-else statements and the program will be to find the largest of three numbers that we have already done using conditional operators and now today we are going to use nested if-else for the same program. So let's declare three variables a, b, c. Let's take the input directly and now the first if block that is the condition will be if a is greater than b okay so inside the first if the statements will be one more if else okay so please try to understand that see here so this is one if and its else is this one okay and inside this first if we are going to use one more if else okay so that will be if a is greater than c then c out a is greatest greater okay and else C out, sorry, C out, C is greater, so this if else is inside the if block of this, okay, and now in the else part for this if block, so when this else will be executed, when a will not be greater than B then this else will execute it and what we are going to print in this else one more if else that is if B is greater than C C out B is greater else C out, C is greater. So you can see here, else, in else block we have used this if else and if, and in the if block we have used if else, right? So this is nested if else. To use if else within the if else statements if in blocks so let's see what's the output so it's showing one error what is the error let's see okay we have uh, I forgot to use here double quotes here too okay so let's give the three values six suppose two and three so here you can see 6 is greater so first it have uh, it have checked if a is greater than b yes 6 is greater than 3 then it had executed you can see here the values that we have given if a is greater than b the first if is this one it's satisfied because 6 is greater than 2 then it had executed a is greater than c that means it had checked whether 6 is greater than 3 or not. Then it had executed 6a is greater. Okay. If a was not greater than c, then it will execute c as greater. Okay. And if a is not greater than b, then it will execute this else block. And what is in the else block? We are again checking that b is greater than c that means 2 is greater than c no this will not execute then else part will execute here like this okay so i can uh, show you in the output suppose let's give a small value of a 12 and b as 14 and c as 13 now you can see 14 is greater so a 12 is not greater than 14 right so it had directly come to the else part this one okay 
and it has checked whether B 13 is greater than um, 14 is greater than 13 or not so yes so it had executed B that is 14 is greater and else if this value was not greater than C then it had executed C L greater okay so this much for today's class